In this video, we will demonstrate how to change the carriage assembly in a Q40 or the Q80 library. When replacing the carriage in a Q40 or Q80 library system, there are some things to consider before starting the process. Please contact Wasser Support to review the condition of your library before proceeding. In a Q40 library, you must first remove the top cover of the library. To remove the top cover, you can get a screwdriver or some small object and push the pin on the side of it, lift up, and do the same with the other side. Lift up the cover, pull the cover out to expose the carriage of the library. To remove the top cover from a Q80 library, you want to get a small screwdriver and push down on this pin here. and then pull, slide the cover forward and lift it off. Once the top cover is removed, you can see the carriage assembly of the library. Now, the carriage assembly will most likely be in the lock position, so you want to follow the instructions. There's a little um, sticker here that shows you what the locked and the unlocked position looked like. You want to slide the pin into the unlocked position before you tr attempt to move the carriage. Once the carriage is in the unlocked position, you want to go ahead and uh, grab the carriage and you want to gently start pulling it up. Now there's finger holes that are intended for you to place into and grab hold of the carriage and you want to start slowly pulling the carriage towards the top of the library. You want to keep pulling until the carriage gears are removed and disconnected from the library. At this point you can slot, carefully pull the carriage a little bit higher, angle it, and set it on top of the library. After you have set down the carriage on top of the library, you want to identify the spooler. The spooler is inside the library and connects the library to the carriage. The spooler is cable is connected to the carriage in the far left hand corner. Once you have identified the spooler, you can take a screwdriver or, or any small object and there's a clip. You push down on the clip here and the spooler disconnects from the carriage and you can now move the carriage out of the way and put the spooler the cable back into the spooler. After the defective carriage has been removed from the library, you grab your replacement carriage and you position it on top of the library and you want to make sure that the spooler uh, connection is here located close to the spooler. You want to grab the cable from the spooler, pull it up bottom first, and then snap it into position. Once the spooler cable has been connected, you can go ahead and position the robot in, in the middle of the carriage, lift up the carriage with the two thumb holes. And you want to make sure to align the four posts with the gears. Once the gears are in place, you can gently let the library go. And as long as the posts and the gears are uh, aligned properly, the library should slowly fall down. As, a, as the carriage starts sliding down, you want to kind of stop it halfway and you want to go ahead and lock the locking mechanism and then let go, the carriage should stop falling. You just want to lock it just to verify that the carriage has been installed properly. If the carriage is not aligned properly, the lock will not prevent it from falling. So as you can see, I've now uh, put the lock into the lock position, the carriage has stopped falling. Once again, if I put it in the unlock position, you should see it gently fall. 
and you want to just wait, you can go ahead and lock the carriage once it's at a uh, lower level and then you're done. You can go ahead and put the top cover back on the library and then power the unit back on. Um, the library will unlock itself and calibrate itself and you should be good to go.